So the thing is, is that the Super PAC kind of officializes that and puts it in with a group to whatever. But if you don't have the skills, if you don't have the time, if you don't have the focus, you're out there making the money and you got it. Here's a Super PAC, an opportunity for that one guy out there or two or 10 or 100,000 to be able to come in and say, you know what? I want to see Tom Woods be able with uh, the other advisory committee there. And oh my goodness, I might be able to buy my way onto an advisory committee. I would imagine you would be open to somebody participating. He's got some cash. So you go in there and you say, hey, here's the money. Let's go whip butt. Because that way you're past all these spending limits. You're past all the stuff that a lot of things that people had have to contend with. So the super PAC today is an opportunity for that person. If you feel led, if you feel that the opportunity that they can make use of do this messaging, that they can get out there and they want to articulate this in a lot of different ways, then you give them the money that you have. Because, man, I tell you, if you got a bunch, it's probably freedom that made you get it or you're part of the problem. So I'm just going, you know, you want to protect that? This is how to do it. But I, go, I want to ask you, if somebody's going to give you a million dollars and they say, here you go, rock on, what other forms would that take? What are some of the other projects other than just television ads that you guys are doing that you're working on? Well, from well, first of all, they would get the, the best thank you note I've ever written in my entire life. But I, I want to go beyond. I'd like to do a lot of TV ads because there are a lot of people out there who vote in Republican primaries who don't have YouTube. You can make all the YouTubes in the world. You can't reach them. But beyond that, I want to do. I want to hit big radio markets also because I want to hit markets where the host is trashing Ron Paul all the time. And I want to get that rebuttal in there, that devastating, never-to-be-forgotten rebuttal. So we've got that. We've got uh, other more local sorts of projects that we might carry out, like we did. Our organization just started on the eve of the Iowa straw poll. We thought, well, we barely have enough time to you know, get two nickels to rub together here, but we've got to do something. So we took out a full-page ad in the Ames Tribune. We put up billboards reminding people that it just might be the case that the only guy who predicted the economic crisis might be the only one who can fix it. So we're prepared to uh, you know, adjust our strategy to the resources we have, and the more resources we have, the more different kinds of things we can do. The first thing I want to focus on, though, is the TV angle, because it's interesting. Rick Perry's Super PAC did a very effective I don't agree with it, but a very effective ad campaign in Iowa right around the time he announced. They made a simple ad, 30 seconds, introducing Rick Perry, and their whole ad buy in the whole state of Iowa came to $40,000. So in other words, when you were talking about that one person who can say, one person could fund an entire ad buy just as, as a, a gesture of goodwill toward mankind, helping this cause, thanks to the institution of the super PAC. Okay, now let me go ahead and before we finish up here. I know you're tight on time, but I, I want to I want to get this one thing out. There's a lot of people out there four years ago that were a, a large resource for getting this message out, for helping in the cultural shift, mm. and they don't vote. I mean, they're just like they didn't have no nothing. To, the system, you know, yeah, nice try, but there is an opportunity to have some kind of a real impact on the entire planet right. by every second you have Dr. Paul up on that podium giving him what fur. Exactly. Okay? So I every debate, we have a big party here, and I think it's this Thursday. We have another party. Here they'll come. All the activists going over the Hancocks, and, and we'll have us a good old time. So we fill it up, and we have a big, giant pot, and, we're having, and people are cursing, yelling at the you know Wolf Blitzer or filling the blank, whoever's up there. But when they get done, what happens? You always get the 9 to 15 minutes of the entire thing of Dr. Paul highlights of what he said. And that one YouTube, that just kicks the living crap. Every gem, every syllable that comes out of his mouth is like, ee, freaking ha. So the more we can do that, the better. If the super PAC is able to get more words out there to more people to be able to know what this whole thing is all about, you know, I, I vote yes, but I'm telling you. I need to know what is the goal. We're, we're, are we going to vote ourselves free somehow, Tom? I mean, you know, how much faith are we putting in this political process? Well, I'll tell you, I've had this debate with a lot of people about whether you should vote or not. And to me, it's almost entirely a theoretical issue, because once Ron Paul retires from politics, I don't think I'll ever want to vote again. 
uh, in this case, I do want to vote for this guy, and I've given reasons for why I think it's, it's okay morally to vote. But even if you don't believe in that, and even if you say the whole system is, is so crummy, I don't, want to, I don't even care, I'm not going to participate, even if that's your opinion, the fact is a lot of people, just by listening to this guy and then making that inevitable, fateful, initial Google search for his name or for any of the things he talks about, this is what turned them around. So even if you don't, even if you think, well, this is a fantasy that you could vote yourself free, well, that's not even necessarily entirely what we're all about here. It's it's really about thinking yourself free. Amen. And this is the guy who gets these ideas out to the public fearlessly, like no one ever before. I mean, you look at the Koch brothers who have literally spent, I mean, millions and maybe a billion dollars. I have no idea how much they've spent year after year funding think tanks or whatever, and they never came within a million miles of what this one unfashionable Texas congressman did in one election cycle, and it burns them up. Who is this guy who just through the force of his ideas is better than a billion dollars? Well, that's who we've got here. And so whether you, you, you think it's because you wanted to be a great president or because you just want more people to wake up, we have something in common. We want to get this guy out before the public and get his ideas as far and wide as they can be spread, because I don't think we're going to see in our lifetimes anybody who is going to be as successful in spreading them. I understand and support that concept completely. This is the opportunity that we have now, today. Right now, we're going to put this up on Freedom's Phoenix. We're going to send it out uh, as a special bonus dispatch. We're going to make sure everybody knows you get to you know, hear it from Tom Woods. He's chairman of the advisory committee there and the board that they're doing on spending this money and what they're going to do with it. It is to get these ideas out to the people that normally wouldn't get them. I'm all about Generation Next. I'm like, yeah, the older people, I'm, you know, done. You know, I'm you know, voting, whatever. I'm just cultural change. But in an election cycle, there is one thing that keeps him up on that podium. That is people that are involved in the election process that support him. They support him when they feel that he needs to be supported, and they do that when they are informed what he is talking about, what he predicted, what he knows, what the solutions are, the solutions are, the solutions are. It's more freedom. Freedom's the answer. What's the freaking question? And that's Dr. Paul. So for him being up there as long as possible, supported by people that know that you can put your head down and plow and not have to worry about what he says. Because how often does that happen? Once in a lifetime. Oh, you know, it, 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 I tell you, you know, there's on a national level here, one time it's been Dr. Paul. I knew that's why I jumped in this thing. In the beginning, I was all in with no promise of getting my ambassadorship or, you know, position or whatever. I don't join collectives. I'm just like, I, I don't want to have anything to do with it anyway. But I knew that the future of my children and my grandchildren and myself and my family, my wife, all my friends and loved ones was best served by having that man up on that podium as long as possible. And the only way you're going to get that is by beating the system inside the system by having this information put out to those that are paying attention. I think Generation Next already knows. We're, we're, we got good. We got covered. We got the YouTubes. But Tom's right. There are a lot of methods by which you can go and people that are close to it inside that know where to put, like various different straw polls, various different conventions, various different uh, delegation selections and stuff internally inside the party that's going on now and really starting to hit right after the beginning of uh, the new year. So it is important that people that know where to put these resources outside of the traditional campaign in support of his campaign, but outside, outside. As far as I'm concerned, the more outside, the better. But this is outside, and someone like Tom Woods. You know, if, if it wasn't for Tom Woods, you know, maybe we might be a little bit more reluctant to be able to, you know, give him the money and at least know that somebody that understands economics, someone that's a no compromise, someone that understands the power of you as an individual being behind the, the allocation of this money. So I encourage you to take a look at this. Go to revolutionpack.com right now. You know, you, you do your five bucks, 10 bucks, million bucks, whatever. Because if we don't do this now, you won't have a better opportunity. The best opportunity 
we have for people, the culture to change, the culture to change is the words coming out of Ron Paul's mouth. And that's only going to happen if he's up there. Well, we keep him up there. We do. Who, who do you think keeps him up there? You, 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 what, you think it's corporate media? You think it's the government? You think it's some special interest? Who keeps him up there? We do. And there are people that want to make use of your money in a way that will be targeted to do that as they think you got to put trust in these people, guys like Tom Woods. Or you got to get off your butt and you do it. It's one or the other. Or you just sit around and do nothing. So I'm counting on you wanting to do something. Revolutionpact.com. Anything you want to say before we go, Tom? Just at least go to Revolution Pack, which is PAC, and at least look at our ad. If you, if you can't donate, at least look at our ad and spread it around to your friends. And that would be a great help. And Ernie, the, the only other thing I would say is, we appreciate your friendship more than we can say, and I'm very grateful for you to, for having uh, having me on today. Oh no, no, I'm very happy to have you. I was looking forward to helping you. And today, the day of, you know, it's uh, it's better than tomorrow. You know, so <laughs> no, no, today is a, is a good day to do it. Today's a good day. So I'm glad you're able to uh, go on. I know you've been busy with a sick child and everything. Everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks. All right, great. Well, this is going. To, I mean, you know, we understand, Tom and I. We got we got life. I mean, there's a lot of things to be done. That's one of the benefits of having something like the Super PAC. Life gets in the way, and they have an advisory board that is working together. A lot of the activists from four years ago, three years ago, that know. And if you want to have something, you want to trust them to do at least what they know from their experience and close to the problems and what needs to be communicated to the generations that need this message, superpac.com. Tom, thanks for coming on, man. It's always great to talk to you, and hopefully we'll be able to do it again soon. Thanks a million, Ernie. Thanks again. My pleasure. Well, you guys know what to do. You got your marching orders. Get out there and get it going on, because if we don't do it now, you know, when are we going to do it? And uh, maybe we're just too busy. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Have a good day. Go to superpack.com.